Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up any smart light as long as it works with Alexa to be able to be controlled by your stream deck or your chat so you can do things like this. Every time someone follows, raids or subs, stick around, let me just show you how. All right, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to head over to voicemonkey.io. Click on this little console thing. It's gonna ask you to log in with Amazon. And then once you've logged in, this is what you're going to see. You're not gonna see any devices there. You're gonna come down to devices. We're going to add in a trigger and we're just gonna call this YouTube test. So once you've got that set up, we can switch over to Amazon Alexa app. However, leave this open in the background. We will be coming back to this. Okay, so if you don't have the Amazon Alexa app, you're going to want to get that. Once you open it up, you're gonna come down to devices, scroll all the way down to your smart home skills. This is gonna be if you've already got your lights set up and linked through a native app, so TP Link Casa or Go Be Home, whatever, enable smart home skills, search the name of it. So if we search, Govi, it comes up. I've already got it linked, so I don't need to, I don't need to enable it, but this would say enable skill. Um, once you've got that, come back down to devices and your devices will show up here. Okay, so now that we've got our devices all linked, we need to come down and set up a routine. So we come over to more, click on routines, press add you name it so we'll name it youtube test press save and then when this happens this you're going to come to smart home and you're going to find the name of what you named your uh thing in voice monkey so we named ours youtube test so we're going to find one that says youtube test it's down here so whenever that YouTube test happens, these actions are gonna happen. So I'm going to set up one for smart home. You can do it by scenes. If you've got scenes in your app, your Govi app or your Globe app or your Casa app or whatever light app, you can find those scenes in here. Um, or you can just do individual lights. So we'll just do the shelf light and we'll do power and we'll do off. So we'll turn that back on and show you that that work. Th that routine, if you wanted more things to trigger, you can add those in individually. Um, you can have as many things added in on that last page as you want it. Um, so you're gonna come back to Voice Monkey now, come down to API version two, go over to the routine triggers and find the one that says YouTube test, and it's gonna give you a link. You're gonna to wanna to copy that link. Once you've got that copied, we can head over to the Stream Deck app. Um, one thing I should mention here, just as we're here and I see this, trial expires soon, upgrade to premium. You do not need the premium plan to do what we're doing. The routine trigger API, which is what we just copied, and the virtual devices, which is what we set up before, are all on the basic plan. Now that we've got that all set up, uh, I've jumped over and thrown my camera in just to uh, show you how to set up the Stream Deck button and to prove that it works. So you're gonna want to come over here and just search website. Uh, we're just gonna throw that on here. And paste that URL that you just got and put get action in the background. Uh, shelf off, just so that I know what it is. And once you press that button, I'm gonna go ahead and press it now. It turns the light off. It, there is a little bit of a delay, um, but just to show you that it works there, you turn it back on and press the off button again, and it's off. So that is how to set it up for Stream Deck. I'm gonna pop over to streamer.bot uh, if you wanna know how to set it up for raids or follows or 
just so that chat can control it with channel points or even just a command. Right, so now that we're over in streamer bot, I've already got in here my channel points. I've got one that's called um, change the light color. So they have to put in a redeem. So, or they have to put in words so they can put in red, redeem it, put in red, and it will change the lights to red. So the way I set that up is, so add in an action from input. So this is from the channel point redeem. We set this as the channel point redeem one, and then set argument color to the raw input. So this is why they have to type in what color, and I've got it listed here, the options. If this, do that. So underneath the lights, like control, I've got an action for each one. All I've done is fetch URL and put in that API. So we'll add one in for off, because that is the light control that we just did. And then here you want to go to core um, network, fetch URL, paste that URL there. It asks for a variable name. You you don't need a variable name. You can put it as S, it, it doesn't matter because all it's gonna do is fetch that in the background. Once it does that, it's gonna trigger the off. Um, so if we go back to our channel point one, so we go to core and then we do an if logic, if. So the variable here is color. And then if it equals off, we want it to equal ignore case because if someone types in all caps, it won't work if I have it as lowercase and leave that on just equals. And we want it to run an action. So we want it to run the action off under light control. You select that and then it will break. Oops. And then it will break once it runs that. Um, else do nothing doesn't really matter it can continue there's nothing to continue from so we go ahead and save that and come over here and type in op now it triggers it to turn off and that is how you set it up for channel points um, if you want it to be on a raid come over to platforms events so if you want it to be on a sub if you've already got something in here, that's fine. All you need to do is come over to your actions, find that action. So, and then add in the action that you want it to do. So here, action, sub hype, that is the light. All right, so yeah, there is how to set up any smart light as long as it works with Alexa. You can set it up for your stream deck, even if there's no stream deck plugin. You can set it up to be controlled with streamer bot. So that's any way that actions get triggered in streamer bot, whether it be follows, subs, raids, commands, channel points. Yeah, the, just play around with it, have some fun with it, figure it out. Um, and yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you found you learned anything from the video, hit the like button. If there's something you wish I did expanded on um let me know in the comments and feel free to subscribe because it's free uh, i do appreciate it and in the meantime keep being freaking amazing